Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, I'm your host, Mrs. M. And if you haven't, make sure you click the link below. That way you can subscribe to my channel and not miss out on anything you need to scale your cleaning business to six figures and beyond. Oh, so have you ever wondered what are the mistakes that most people make in Sam.gov? Other than, of course, Sam's have changed. So I did a video earlier on the changes in Sam's, but there are five major things that I've seen People seem to, I guess, mess up or mistakes within Sam over and over and over again, which cost them time and big money because this is one of the biggest ways you can scale your cleaning business to six figures and beyond. Pow! Is using government cleaning contracts. So I'm going to give you the five mistakes that I see over and over and again. Make sure you don't make those so that way you don't delay on getting started and moving. Are you ready to learn what they are? Okay, let's go. Mistake number one, they don't have all of the things, their due diligence for the requirements that are needed before they get to SAMS. That means their EIN and how they're going to register with the state. Remember, it is a step-by-step -step process. So number one, you absolutely need to have already registered, gotten your EIN, employee identification number, and you need to figure out how you're going to register with your state. Are you going to be an LLC, which is a limited liability company, sole proprietor, so on and so forth? Must do those first before you head to SAMS. Number two, they have not figured out what their NICS code is going to be. They don't know what they're going to offer. Now, what I specialize in and what I talk a lot about is facility services support. That is where janitorial and all of the housekeeping, disinfecting fall under. For janitorial, it would specifically be 561720. Now, if you're all over the place and you want to do all kinds of things, when you get to sams.gov, you have to choose one primary. That's mistake number two. They don't choose one primary or they don't know how to narrow it down. Now, you can do several, but you can put all of the other ones, add them, but choose one. One that you have the most experience in, one that you feel you have the best chance of completing successfully that government contract that you want so badly. So don't be all everywhere. Focus, focus, focus. And you want to choose one NICS code. Like I said, 561720 is janitorial for if you're looking like doing facility services or anything else, make sure you look under NICS code. That's N A c i s dot com n a i c a s dot com so n a i c e s dot com will look will give you the actual website take you there so you can look at some other ones you might want to do five six one two one zero which is facility support services or landscaping but get to know what they are choose one primary list all the rest and then focus on really concentrating on finding contracts for that main uh, primary code that you're looking for with the NICS. Number three, when they get to sams.gov and it talks about they cannot find your business. Oh my God. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you fill out an incident report and upload the document. So many people fill out the incident report, but they don't upload their documents. The documents are probably simply your limited liability company or however you decided to register with your secretary of state. Don't forget to upload that document. Mistake number four is that they do not go all the way through and do a complete Profile That means filling out everything's in Sam.gov all the way to your DSBS profile, your dynamic small business search DSBS profile. Don't forget to put in everything. If you want to do no bids or if you want to do SAP, or if you want to do micro purchases, make sure you check off the part when it talks about do you accept government credit cards. Do not leave any area untouched. You want to make sure you touch them all so that way you make sure you go through it. And mistake number five is that they don't hit submit. They go through all that and then they don't hit submit. And when they go back in, they're looking for it. And there's going to be three areas that you're going to pay attention to to know the status of your SAMS.gov. Number one, it's going to say in work. In work means there's something not completed. You need to finish something. 
maybe you didn't upload the documents and it came back so you need to work it out you need it's called in work so that means you need to add something something's missing number two it's going to say submit it that means you've submitted it it hasn't come back so you can't make any changes upgrades or anything to it till it comes back it's going to come back in the third category crossing our fingers that is going to be active that means you've been assigned your cage code and you are ready to go so in work means something still needs to be done submit it means you've submitted it you have to wait for it to come back for you to either receive your cage code or correct whatever it is that you haven't done so it's going to come back to the in work status or it's going to go to active once you've hit submit it's either going to go in work or active one of those two okay then once you do something to correct whatever it is it's going to go back to submission you cannot do anything to your SAMS while it's in submission. It's thinking on what it wants to do. Does it want to go back and give you that cage code or does it want to send you back for you to make some more corrections? So hopefully these five mistakes that I see over and over and over and over again will help you with a smooth transaction to getting ready up and going with doing everything for government cleaning contracts. Now, if you want to learn more, then this is what you can do. You can actually sign up for my free masterclass where I go over this in great painstakingly detail over what you need to do to win no bids, over what you need to do to actually win simplified acquisition procedures. Those are called SAP. Anything and everything, how to register the new way in SAMS, find the bids, the actual bid platforms that we use, and so much more. Well, space is limited. I'd love to see you there at our very next masterclass workshop. I call it a workshop because I put you to work. So if you'd like to learn more, then click the link in the description. Love to see you at the next masterclass. And until the next video, be safe and take care. Bye-bye.